A resolution was passed to enhance the storage capacity of existing reservoirs by gating the ungated spillways. This marked the beginning of a cost-effective and sustainable approach to address recurring water shortages in Orissa. Through this pilot initiative, the storage capacity of Danai Dam was enhanced by 4.62 million cubic meters. This created a new ayakut of 214 hectares, while stabilizing 372 hectares of existing irrigation. The benefits extend further downstream, supporting three anakuts and strengthening water security across the region. The use of top-hinged automatic gates clearly demonstrates the economic effectiveness of enhancing storage through augmentation, rather than new construction. These are top-hinged, self-operating, non-submersible, hydromechanical gates that open and close automatically, without the need for electrical power or manpower. They regulate outflow in direct response to the upstream water level, at deciding when to open, how much to open, and for how long to remain open. For added flexibility, they can also be operated manually in controlled mode to release water for environmental discharges or dam safety purposes. These gates have been favorably mentioned in iCold Bulletin, recognized by leading engineers worldwide and also included in various international publications. They are considered highly reliable, very safe and a quantum leap in hydromechanical gate technology, outperforming conventional gate systems. The gates are currently in closed position and remain closed until the upstream water level reaches the full reservoir level, thereby ensuring maximum storage. About 25% of the gates are designed to allow a thin overflow, around 100 mm. This lets debris, flotsam and aquatic weeds pass without requiring gate operation. This feature is optional and can be excluded, as per the preference. Other gates have additional baffle plates which prevent overflow while providing additional hydraulic thrust, ensuring smooth and reliable gate opening. As the upstream water level rises further, hydraulic pressure pushes the gates outward and upward, initiating the opening. With further rise, they open progressively wider while floating above the water surface. At high flood level, the gates reach their fully open position, discharging water completely unobstructed, operating just like an ungated structure. The gates open sequentially, not simultaneously. Each gate responds to a 50 to 100 mm rise in level, allowing controlled release of initial floods and preventing unnecessary full gate operation during minor floods. When the water level recedes, the gates rotate downward and inward, closing gradually. They fully shut once the reservoir returns to FRL ensuring reliable storage. With no motors, sensors, oiling or greasing required, the system is virtually maintenance-free, a true fit-it-and-forget-it solution. The execution journey adopted specialized methodologies, including diamond wire sawing, diamond core cutting, precision, grouting, and epoxy bonding. From structural works to crest redevelopment, gate installation, and final testing, each stage was carried out with advanced techniques, ensuring durability and reliability of the project. After thorough site assessment and survey, site preparation began with construction of approach road for safe access of heavy machinery, along with planning and mobilization of resources. The foundation stone for the project was ceremonially laid by the Honorable Minister.
the existing crest was precisely cut using highly specialized diamond wire sawing and diamond core cutting techniques to anchor the trestle columns. These methods are completely vibration free, thereby avoiding any crack formation and ensuring structural integrity and durability, causing no stress to the existing structure. Lifting handles were grouted into the cut sections and then lifted by heavy duty cranes. 0.75 meters long, 8.8 .8 grade, fully threaded, zinc coated dowel bars were grouted to ensure monolithic bonding and efficient load transfer. 1.5 meters long, 8.8 .8 grade fully threaded, zinc coated anchor bars were grouted to securely support the steel trestles. The crest was redeveloped using high-strength epoxy bonding agents, ensuring a durable monolithic structure ready to support the trestles and next stage of construction. Every major project begins with careful checks. Upon arrival, the automatic gates were inspected by department engineers to ensure all components met strict quality and safety standards before installation. Installation of the automatic gates began with the careful lifting of each automatic gate using a 250-ton crane. Every movement was meticulously coordinated by engineers, ensuring precise alignment, a step crucial to the project's success. This guaranteed smooth, safe and reliable installation highlighting the remarkable engineering expertise, planning and dedication invested in bringing this landmark project to life. Dry testing of the gates was conducted in the presence of the chief engineer, dam safety and the department's mechanical engineers. Each operation was carefully observed and verified and the gates performed successfully meeting all technical standards and earning full approval from the supervising engineers. Multiple inspections were conducted by the department's engineers, ensuring that every aspect of the project met stringent quality and safety standards.